matters. And then I think you'll start seeing it. So my encouragement to you would be find the clients that you think are the ones that should be here or that have an appetite to be here and encourage them to come, but also encourage them to bring three or four people from their organization with them. You know, help them get religion in the same exact way that the financial industry has religion. And that's why algo trading really matters. We need to get to that same place uh, as a CPG advertising community. And we're just not there. So that's my candidate. I think there were maybe two other clients in the room, and and maybe maybe they're not. Well, the three of you here are smart, right? <laughs> but I, th I think that the other ch the other challenge I think is, you know, you know, when you're, you're when you work in these large organizations. I mean, I've worked at two different Fortune 500 companies, and you know, you you can be innovative and you can drive things maybe to a point, to your point, which is you don't want to disrupt things too much because you're worried about going up the corporate ladder and getting your 401k matching and you know having this nice life and and you get kind of bogged down to be honest i mean there's you know there, there's much more innovation outside of these these companies whether it's fortunately for for them they have good partners hopefully and and maybe unfortunate for those corporations at the same time but corporate bureaucracy gets in the way there's there's um, the the cmos we deal with digital is one thing on their mind out of 40 and and so you know, we're, we're, we're one piece of many. And, and so we, and I think it's important not to get caught up in thinking, you know, digital is the silver bullet, it's gonna solve the world and all these, I mean, as much as I love to hear that, I don't even know that I fully believe that. And I think you have to be considerate of all the other things that are possible, um, if, even if you look at the ad and, and marketing industry, um, but when you're, in, when you're in a client, I mean, they have their own issues to deal with, um, both corporately, internally, and also how they deal with customers on the outside that are way beyond digital. So it's important to keep in mind, I think, that um, that's one of the challenges I think they face is their time is spread pretty thin. You know, I, would just argue, I would argue and say that the digitization, the lack of digitization in most of the organizations are continuing to be a drag on yeah. their business. Right. So if you look at the insights groups in a lot of these organizations, I mean, most, most big orgs like us in the CPG space could, and w with a straight face would tell you, we actually don't understand millennials. You know why? Because the data that we have, it, card level data, pff, how many millennials walk into a card and swipe it? Convenience store data, there's no convenience store. And when you look at the Nielsen data, it tells you about uh, not millennials, but millennials in the household. So is that signal that I'm getting from the 70-year-old that's in the household, or is it from the 20-year-old that's in the household? And, and, and the problem has been is that we haven't accepted that digital can actually give us better insights, so we have never pushed or put resources there. So I 100% I agree. I don't think it's a silver bullet, but I think it's a big pain point that, that does need to be addressed yeah. and probably should be at least in the top three considerations.